What's up, everybody? This is Loop Community Reason Trainer Carlos Ramirez. Um, so this tutorial is a continuation on uh, the track that I've been uh, working through with you guys. Um, the last video that we did was an intro to mixing. Um, and today what we're going to talk about is bouncing your stems or bouncing your tracks. Um, I love Reason. It's great. I mean, really, the tonal options in it are ridiculous. Um, I think that although it looks cool, the functionality of the back of the rack is incredible. I mean, you can really go crazy uh, just like you would or much like you would in a traditional analog console with a patch bay and, you know, whatever. I mean, you can go nuts. There's so many options. But for this, for this reason, um, as well as the GUI, um, I love using this program. But in terms of performance, um, I love using Ableton. So... We're going to go, we're going to talk about how we can take our tracks out of reason, processed, song finished, and import them into Ableton. So, or, or the DAW of your choice, really. So, there are a few ways to do it. Um, and there's one way in particular that I love. Um which I'm going to show you guys, but basically the song is mixed down. In a worship song setting, we will, as you guys can see, I have things mainly in stereo. This doesn't always have to be the case, but I have a lot of synthesizers. I have things with chorus on them, uh, things panned within the Kong, for instance, uh, so I leave things stereo. Uh, but if this was a worship song, they'll set things to mono. So you'll take out uh, an out, uh, uh, input, sorry. And right here I took out the right output. Took it off the input, off my loop. So... That basically leaves me with a mono track. Where is that guy? Oh, well, so let's take those out and see what happens. See, mono. So let's just correct that. Um, Oh, goodness. Goodness me. Okay, so basically, you'll go to Reason under your menus, Bounce Mixer Channels, and you select anything that you want that bounced out. Um, and like we went over in how to create a simple track in Reason, um, these are the different settings. Um, like if you're going to bounce out uh, a loop for worship, you'll more than likely do this. Um, you'll be able to bounce things out mono. Um, but I, I usually don't go this. Uh, I mean, the reality is if somebody else wants to use my track unprocessed, then yeah, I'll go to this right here. Um, file type, we went over this. Um, so I'm going to bounce the tracks for song, start to end marker, but I'm not going to select all the tracks. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select my master section. Okay. And basically the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm going to take, so you guys will see. Okay, so I have Kong 
one and loop. It's not grouped together right now, but I want it uh, as a stem. So I'll group I'll group that during my solo, sort of. So that's a group right now. And what I'll do is I'll disable, like right here I have my master compressor, external sidechain, and I have that disabled. I'll take that off. But I will leave my master inserts engaged, okay? So I got these tracks. And then bounce mixer channels. Take that off. And then engage master section. And what I'll do is I'll bounce to new tracks and song with this setting all. Um, and then I'll hit OK. And I'll do that with whatever I want to group. Some things like the 8 bit. I just did that by itself. Uh, a few other things I did by its actually most things in this track I did by themselves. So I basically already did all of that. You can see all of these bounced, um, including this right here. Um, which is my delay effect and I printed that as a stem and then what I'll do now keep in mind if you want to play these back so let's just solo all this okay just all the tracks that have been bounced let's solo that sounds pretty bad huh well, the reason being is that we still have the master uh, insert engaged. So, clipping. So, there we have it. We have the tracks right here. And you'll take those tracks file bounce mixer channels and then you'll choose whatever you've bounced onto your session and then you bounce that out and that's it cool so I mean I know a lot of people like to use this but I love my master insert processing so you guys might want to do that too it, it gives it more of a polished sound, um, but it's just a tip. Cool. Any questions, email carlos at, this, at loopcommunity.com. Thanks, guys.